Hello everyone, this is Stefan from Lush and Salty Aquariums. How are we doing? Okay, you're looking at this lovely little tank that has a ton of life in it, but hardly any fish. You see an established colony of cherry shrimp, beautiful red ones, there's a ton of them. I've got my prerequisite uh, group of Anubius Petite, the uh, plant in the center there, as well as my favorite crips and a glorious patch of Christmas moss with a little bit of Vosser Tang and Christmas moss forming another patch down there. It's mature, it's growing, the shrimp love it. There are two, a male and a female, Celestial Pearl Danios in here, and I know they're spawning. I've seen the behavior. Hopefully they'll come out during this video, uh, but here's the thing. Inside this tank, there's one female guppy. You see her there? In front of the uh, intake, there's a beautiful male CPD. Look at him with the red fins. But this female guppy is a remnant of a group of fry I put in here in this tank on a whim to save them from uh, feeding to my saltwater fish or some other fate. I put a group of them in there and then a few weeks in, I changed my mind and wanted to try to breed these CPDs. Well, I caught every guppy except this one, and she is incorrigible. I have tried everything, tricks, nets, traps. I cannot get this creature out of my tank. And the reason why that matters is because it's disrupting the CPDs from spawning. If they're dropping eggs, I'm almost sure she's eating them. Um, I get it, the shrimp probably will have at it too, but I wanna at least give the pair a chance and I don't think this female will let them. She's constantly harassing both of the CPDs. You don't see that behavior now, but I have. And in any event, I'm not putting a male or other guppies in here, so she's a rogue and I don't know what to do about it. I cannot catch her for the life of me. Give me some tips and tricks. Yeah, I could drain the whole damn tank. I could do some drastic measures, but I've tried um, baiting her with little food, having her get lulled into a sense of comfort, and then swiping the net that was previously underneath and just missing her. Now this is an Endler female, so not just a regular guppy, and uh, has never been impregnated, so it has that sort of sleek look, not the uh, general fat tummy that most spawning guppies invariably get. This one is a virgin, but I cannot get her out of this tank. It's a great little tank. I wanna try the CPD spawning or something similar. I want to try some kind of interesting group of nano fish or something similar, but this rogue guppy just kind of is in there. She's territorial. She's probably freaked out from me um, attempting to catch her so many times. And anyway, she's kind of, kind of a thing. So what do you think I should do? Uh, here's an auto sinkless uh, making those leaves so beautiful and shiny. Uh, like all my tanks, lots of plants, um, good lighting, tons of shrimp, and very little algae. There is some in here, um, a modest amount. That's a piece of Miramau ball algae right there. Not a uh, bad algae from those balls they sell. There's a, an Amano shrimp. So I have a lot of life in here, and I'm fine with the tank, just as essentially a planted tank. But I mean, first of all, here's what I won't do is put a male guppy in there. I'm not gonna go down that route. I have too many other tanks that are jam packed with uh, guppies now. And I kind of am starting to regret that whole phenomenon where I wanted um, Endler guppies. But you know what? Uh, it's the changes of the moon, who knows? It's just passing phases, passing fun trials and tribulations. So what do you think? How the hell do I get the guppy out so that these glorious CPDs, you see the male, the female's in there too. There they both are. There's the female 
the males to the right, I believe. How do I give them back their tank? I'd love your thoughts. And as usual, thank you for watching and always keep your hands in the tank. Ciao for now.